Good morning folks, welcome to another video. Um, today I've got some of these bevels, what you can purchase online. And I'm going to fill them with UV resin mixed with pigment. I'm going to do two colours. I'm going to use purple and a red. And I'm going to add purple glitter into the purple and red glitter into the red. I've already got my um, UV resin poured because I like to be organised. And talking about being organised, you can't see in this picture but I like to have everything set up. I have to do it this way because I've got Living on a narrow boat, I've got a small area um, which I have to utilise. So you can see here all the bevels. You can't see, but I've got the pigment um, there. I've got the UV resin here, and I've got sorry, <laughs> the UV resin is off picture there. The pigment is here. The glitter is here and then completely off the um, page I've got uh, my stirrers, my cotton bud and um, a little um, toothpick or cocktail stick whatever you want to use and I've also got some of those plastic uh, pipette things two of those so if I'm using two different uh, resin colours I'll use two different sticks and then I'll clean them both anyway and reuse them again um, yeah so that's how I work folks so what we're going to do now um, I let's see if I can it's a bit hard to see with a the picture. There we are. So, ah, pigment. Make sure you give it a good shake. I always, I keep forgetting to do this. I'm terrible at this. Just really, really give it a good shake. And what I'm going to do is add three drops. I've got my stick here and I'm going to mix that in. Oh, just look at that folks. That is a nice bright red. And I'm just going to make sure that it, I'm going to stir it so it's all thoroughly mixed, making sure you get the edges. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do uh, one colour at a time. So I've got me my glitter. These are all what came in kits. And <laughs> the hardest part for me is to get the top off without uh, getting it everywhere. <laughs> Should have done this off camera. I'm still trying folks. Hang on. Yes, I've done it. I've done it. I've got some. Right. I've got some. There we are. There's a nice, nice amount gone in there. Right. Let's get that out of the way. Put that off camera because I like to be organised. Going to give that a good stir. Good stir, folks. Oh. 
sure it's all in what's on the sides if there's any stuck on the sides <coughs> I'm just letting the, I don't know what, I think it might be because of the temperatures have been a bit uh, up and down on the boat overnight. Um, so the resin isn't as bubble free as it normally is. So what I'm doing is just letting it, uh, letting some of those bubbles come to the top before I start pouring. What I'm about to do now, folks, with these, what you buy, these pipette things, I find it helps to cut the end off. Now, don't throw the end bit away. Why, you may ask. Well, on some of the moulds where, where the hole goes through, you may uh, make a mistake like I did the other day, and... Um, you need to uh, plug that, you need to um, correct a damaged hole, you know, you might have not put enough resin around the edge and uh, this is part of the process what you can use to correct that. Nicely snipped now got two of these so I'm going to take, take that one off as well okay other thing to um, to realize folks is when you get packs uh, when you're starting out and you've got a bought a pack of um, a whole pack of resin uh, including all the accessories depending on where you get them from they all vary so these pipettes are not going to be the same so you need to uh, be aware of that if you want to if you're going to cut it um, otherwise you might be cutting too much up or too little and, uh, and and the other thing is that like with the bevels um, where, depending on wherever you buy them from, their colour is going to vary slightly. Um, the flatness of the bevel, um, it all varies. Also the holes, some of them you'll have the whole, um, I don't know whether it, let's see if I move that out of the way now. Um, let's poke with this. Can you see those are flat, those holes? Hang on, are you, oh, you're out of picture. Um, hang on, let's just move that in. Right, okay. This one, they are going down. So they're horizontal, these are vertical. So uh, it all varies. Oh, hang on. Now, the other thing I need to say is that when I did these bevels the last, I did it in a whole strip, I found that um, you were, that you would get some uh, where they leak and you don't want that going into uh, the ones next to it. So what I've done this time, as you can see, I've cut into little parts um, so that it just covers the pair of um, um, singular pendants or earrings whatever you want to use them for uh, and that's what I've done now I'm just looking at this uh, resin now let's see if we can get it back into picture no hang on. Oh. <laughs> sorry folks everything's sticking um, here we are so, um, hopefully, yeah, there you are. So that's worked, it's pumped it up. 
which is what we want. So I'm going to start with the hearts. And I find this so much easier and gives you more control when you're filling these um, bevels or moulds if you use these rather than just pour it in from the jug. So folks, kind of a bit quiet and I that's what happens when I'm concentrating. Now because I'm using UV resin, I don't need to uh, rush. So what I can do now is is put those two um, under the UV light if I so wished. But what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just looking, I think I've got those firmly stuck down so I've got no leakage so um, I'm going to leave those at the moment I'm going to get on with uh, I think I'll do the whole row here making sure I get into all the edges I only um, discovered this pipette, how easy it was, um, the other day, because I'm very new to resin work, and uh, I have to say it's a game changer to do it this way. It's just uh, so much easier, and, so, and it basically it's so much more tight. Oh, can you see we've got some overflow there? So, what I'm going to do, I am going to get the UV light on so not too much leaks out. I'm looking, there's, I can't see any uh, air bubbles. There might be one, just one. There. Or it could be glitter. I think it's glitter. Okay, let's get the... UV light out. This will, doing it this way, will make the process a lot tidier, um, a lot easier to to, uh, to um, finish off the the uh, bevels. Now if you have too much spillage in that then it can make it a bit more fiddly when you've got to, got to uh, remove it at the end. It's basically one, it's one uh, long learning process. Um, I like to learn things as I go and what I'm doing is probably going to be totally different to what you're going to do. Um, now just remember folks, where have I put it, hang on a minute, remove your UV <laughs> solution from the, um, remove your, uh, yeah, you, you, <laughs> your UV um, from the Hang on a minute, I'm getting off. Oh, yeah, the UV resin. Don't leave the pots near the UV light. 
<laughs> Otherwise, you go, it's going to go hard. Hopefully, yeah, that one's all right. <laughs> right, that should be long enough just to uh, to uh, stop that from leaking out more. We can continue. <coughs> Just make sure I'm just giving them a press. So, okay, let's continue with this red. That's looking uh, a little. You can see rather than you use the torch, there you are. Pop that. That's all I need to do. Um, get the UV light back on. I'm always tending to do 150 seconds, which is the maximum setting on here. I've got three choices, um, and I find that that works best. I'm using um, the bevels with a, like a brass effect, because um, I don't like them so much. I'm leaving the silver and the gold ones, gold looking ones, um, for, um, you know, for the best pieces. Although looking at these, I think they're coming out very good. In fact, I'm really pleased with how that's gone. Sometimes it helps just to take your time. Right then, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the whole lot now. I'm going to um, take the camera off because I can see the batteries being used up. And, um, and then I'll come back when I've actually completed them all. And then we can... Um, oh, what I will do is turn, the, turn each of these over at some point And now I'll use the UV light uh, on the underside. Uh, and once I've finished that process, then I'll show you uh, the process of uh, taking them um, off this sticky tape and uh, the finished products. So, I'll be back shortly. I'm back. Right then, folks, I've... Um, Filled these all up. I've decided. I decided to go with uh, red because that was what I had um, filled filled up. Um, but I ran out. So on a few, especially these two here. I had to use some of the purple what I'd mixed. 
Now, actual fact, that was the only one where I made a little mistake in that I missed the corner. So I had to touch that up afterwards. Anyway, enough of that. Let's, uh, I've done them, I've heated on both sides uh, for um, 150 seconds. And let's now remove this from the plastic. Gently do it. There you are, folks. Can't get the full um, glittery effect with that, but I tell you, it is shiny. It's beautiful. It really is. Very pleased with that. I'll take the other one off as well. Peel it back. Not just so. There you are. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty good. Oh, you can just see a bit of glitter there. We'll just take two more. I think that's enough to show you. <laughs> right, okay, tell you what I will show you now. Yeah, let's do this one. You can see this is where we've got overflow spillage. So, what I'll do, let's uh, take this off and show you what. Show you how I correct this. Now, part of the process here, and let, let me just move some of these out. So, I've got a pair of pliers, folks. Um, I don't know what they're called, but um, what I do, I grip. If there's enough to grip. grip it, the overflow part, and then twist. It does get a bit tricky when it's around where the hole is. Although saying that, I think we've uh, we've, we've not done too bad with this. We just got this here. Now I don't know what you can see. It's a bit of roughness there. So what we have that for sorting that out is another tool. This is a deburring tool. And so all I need to do is just gently do 
is gent that's it that's all I need to do so that just takes it off sometimes it can be more difficult to do than that I can be spending a good few minutes but um, I think it helped with um, it certainly helped with having just the two on each bit of plastic and uh, making sure they're all firmed down as much as possible. So that's it folks, that's the um, process and I my battery is almost flat now so I'm going to say thank you for watching. I shall finish these off and I'll take a picture and put that, that at the end of the video. Okay? Bye for now.